Welcome back to my channel, Lala's Land. So I have for you guys today a Dollar Tree haul. It's kind of big because I did skip last week's. I was super busy. Also, I want to insert this very quickly. If you were watching my few Vlogmas videos that I did, I had every intention on vlogging every single day. However, I underestimated how busy I was and how thin I could stretch myself. And unfortunately, Vlogmas is not going to happen this right now. I just have so much going on with like my regular full-time job and my reselling business online and my wedding planning business and planning my own wedding and doing all my YouTube stuff. I just do not have time to vlog. To anyone who had their hopes high for vlogmas, I was disappointed. Honestly, in myself, I really wanted to do that this year. It just didn't work out, but everything happens for a reason. So I want to go ahead and just kind of do another quick update before we get into the haul. I, I have not forgotten about my third red truck giveaway that is coming up this week, so make sure you stay tuned so I can get everybody's mail out at the same time. So that's, if you are if you won Tabby or Coupon from Brooklyn, you guys, I have not forgotten you. Um, your stuff is packed, but I'm just trying to wait to get all three of you done so I can get you guys all shipped out at the same time. It just makes it easier on me. Okay, now let me go ahead and get into the haul. Some of these are repurchases, not a lot to say. You guys know how I feel about the Good Sense Handles trash bags. I absolutely love them. They smell good, they don't break for a dollar you cannot beat. Uh, these are, how many do we get? 10 of them, sometimes there's a bonus. I think you get 13, but this is 10. I was out of, I thought I was out of the globe bulbs and I needed one in my bathroom, so I grabbed this one, but um, actually we did have others. So this will just be in my cabinet as a backup. Greg was with me and he really, really, really loves these Dakota um, like little coffees. And so he got a mint, which he's had before and he loved. And also the mocha, which I don't believe he's had before. So um, I'll tell you guys in the future if he likes it, but I'm sure he will because he's liked all of them. I love Charmin toilet paper. That's what we like to use here in our house. I am picky about some things like toilet paper. I don't want anything that's uncomfortable. But I saw this Charmin's Essentials Strong and this says one mega roll, which is what this is, a mega roll is equal to four regular rolls so i bought this because even though we did not need toilet paper i wanted to try it out i wanted to see how long it lasted and it was was worth that one dollar no i don't like doing dishes i don't so um i got some plastic cups because it's nice to have these greg acts like sometimes he needs a new cup every time he pours the drink so i like to have things like this around that are just easy i wanted i've used one of these in the past and i wanted to try it out again here at this house just as like an extra safeguard at night when we're asleep um this is, says a window and door alarm if anything was to happen i have two dogs and they're going to make a lot of noise but i just thought to myself i wanted to just see how well it you know, I just, I just felt like I wanted it. So that's that. I finally found these. I've been looking for these and they're so cute. They're the key covers and they're the unicorn keychain, like the key covers. And they also had flamingos, I think cacti. I don't remember the other ones. There were pictures on Instagram, but these are super adorable. So you guys know I had to get both. I had to get one of these. I'm trying to get back into crafting and I am slowly but surely doing it. I actually have two pocket letters that I'm in the middle of working on to swap. Um, with two of you and you guys know who you are um, and so I grabbed these here these were new I had not seen these before like not in my store and these are the wood letters by crafter square and you get 26 so you get one of each letter so I grabbed two of them and you can do all sorts of things you can paint these you can color them in you could leave them plain but I figured that these are these are you know a pretty good deal for a buck I can't remember if I showed these or not I couldn't remember like if these had these were sitting on my desk and I didn't know if these were part of something I had already hauled or didn't haul, but I'm gonna show you. So if I showed them like already, then just disregard. But these are by ink and they're the pen mark and they are four permanent markers. You get red, green, blue, and black. And I've not, I've liked basically all the ink brand pens that I've tried and markers. So uh, they will be in a future pen you know, review that's going to be coming up soon um, to show you guys a lot of the new pens that I bought. So I thought it, it does say they are quick drying and they are bright, bold colors and it has a fine point. So those are some things to know. And it does say on the back that they're great for marking and personalizing glass, plastic, wood, and metal. I'm going to be setting a goal for myself um, 
in January, I want to start reading more. I listen to a lot of podcasts and I listen to a lot of Audible, which is the books that you listen to while, and while I'm at work. I want to develop a new nighttime routine and I want to try to stay away from electronics after a certain hour. And reading, if you've ever started, if, who, if you've ever read a book in bed, I swear there is, even if the book is good, there is nothing like reading a book in bed to make you get drowsy. So I, this just popped out to me and I figured I would give it a shot. It's The Witches of Cambridge, so I don't know anything about it. I just like the title. I thought the cover was cool. I didn't even really read what it was about. One thing I don't like, I love Dollar Tree books, but what sometimes is frustrating is I've grabbed books before and then it's like the second one in a series. And I hate that. And then like the Dollar Tree, either they don't have the first one or my store never got the first one or I just never found it. So sometimes that's annoying, but I did remember kind of going through to make sure that, that was not the case with this book. And it's not super big and I am a fast reader, so it wouldn't take me long to finish this, but I'm going to incorporate this in January into my nighttime routine. And there probably will be a video on that just to kind of show you guys what I'm doing. As you're about to see, this is all, you know, you can see it's very random. I'm just grabbing items. I picked up this bag about two weeks ago and I forgot to show it. I absolutely love it. It is so, so cute. Um, and it says jingle all the way and the, the tags of the banner are kind of foiled and I absolutely love this. Now I'm going to use this. I bought two of them and I'm going to use one of them as a gift bag this year, but the other is going to be used, um, as a picture. I want to frame this. I think it is so, so cute and it would make great decor. So, um, and the other side is the same. However, um, there is no foiling on the banner, but I will also say this one thing I love about it. Uh, and the letters are also foiled here. There's no glitter. So I am loving that there's no glitter. Okay. Very exciting hangers. One thing that I love to do with the little Dollar Tree items is number one, I like to incorporate them as like thank you gifts and my orders that people, um, when they place orders with me on Mercari, if you did not know I had a Mercari store, it will be in the description box below. I sell a lot of Ray Dunn items. There are a few other things, but right now I am focused mainly on Ray Dunn, but I also like to take the little gifts and I call them add on gifts. So I might give someone like a main gift, but then I like to add a couple little things in a gift bag. And so I like to do that for Christmas as well. Well, so there are a few of these next items you're going to see when I say they're add-on gifts you'll know what I mean so this is actually for me if you guys remember I hauled one of these in the past they are the coin purses and they're the reversible sequins it's silver or it's the rainbow and you guys know I couldn't find this rainbow multicolored one before but I found it and actually Greg pointed it out while we were in Dollar Tree and I was like oh I need it and um, I'm gonna be using this um, most likely I'm saving it to use on my honeymoon. When we go on our honeymoon, I like to have little things like this when I go on a cruise to keep little things in, you know, your, um, your cruise card, your ID, things like that. I like to have little things like this for that. I bought these as add-on gifts for my sister as well as Greg's sister. Um, and these are the Snuggadoo 2 Super Soft Socks. You guys know how comfy and cozy these are. I actually have on a pair right now um they they hold up fine in the wash do shed a bit but honestly it doesn't take away from the cozy factor of them so i did pick up two of them and again they are the ones with the little grippies on the bottom which i do feel like i have to have on socks because i have tile floors and let's be real if i fall i might not get back up at least not fast <laughs> so again i picked up two of these pairs for their little add-on gifts also as an add-on gift for greg's sister um, this is a scarf and it's by Remington. You guys know that is a name brand. My Dollar Tree has had a lot of Remington hair accessories. Um, it's not anything that I need or can use, but I thought these scarves were gorgeous. And this is like a burgundy, um, red. And you can see on the end, it is, it has like this super cute, like fray, like fringe, I guess is what it would be. Um, but it's very, very nice. I love that it comes on this cute little hanging and it just looks very nice um it looks it doesn't look cheap it doesn't feel it doesn't feel cheap um so i'm really excited to um include this and it is just plain i will say that greg's sister is currently going through um chemo and radiation for stomach cancer so i felt like this would be awesome especially where they live it's cold and it snows she can use this as a scarf around her neck or even on her head because she has shaped her head and it's looking fabulous i must say but she can use it for that as well um, and i just thought it would be a really nice gift to add into there so this is actually for you guys um greg and i thought it would be so fun 
to do a live video every now and then um, with you guys and kind of play games and do like a game night giveaways and things like that. Um, and so I saw this game at Dollar Tree and I thought, wow, this is, we could use this whenever we decide to start this up. And this is the celebrity guessing game and it's um, super cute. And it comes in this little box and it says, it's the celebrity guessing game and then it says name. Oh, I think it means the celebrity name guessing game. That's okay. Anyways, how many seconds can you get? How many names can you guess in 60 seconds? So it comes with 57 cards, one instruction sheet, and it says over here ages eight up and it's for two to four players. Look more into the game, but I thought this would be fun to do on a live one night for you guys. This is actually something that um, is probably going to be like a little add on gift, like in the stocking stuffer or add on gift for my sister. She loves makeup. She's a very girly girl. Um, and this is a, and then I also had not seen this at Dollar Tree before. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Moisturizing Lip Color. It's a balm stain and it is in the color C127, which is a stiff pink. And it's kind of like a light, not quite bubble, like the packaging is bubble gum, but the actual is almost, it's a very pale pink and I think it's very pretty. Um, so I'll probably just toss that in there for her, but again, that's what it looks like. And this is also an add on gift for Greg's sister. Um, this is the Spa Naturals Luxury Collection Bath Bombs and you get three fizzies and they are in the Lavender Dreams. And you guys know these are not new. I think Dollar Tree's had these floating around for a while. I know this Dollar Tree that I go to where I got these, they have tons of bath bombs. I mean, they have a bunch of these they have like the ones that are shaped like unicorns mermaids the balls you guys know the ones that came in the silver packaging tons and tons of those so um this is the one that i went ahead and with with i feel like the other ones are very young and they would be great for like maybe my sister or even my nieces for their stockings but I feel like these look, just the packaging looks a little more expensive. And I do know that my, my mom grabbed these and she said they smell amazing. I don't like lavender, so I'm not taking a whiff. But my mom loved them too. So I think it would be great for her. Okay, so you guys have seen me haul things like these before for Greg. He loves these socks and I think they're super cute and he loves to wear them. Um, and these are the men's, they say dress socks for sizes 6 to 12. And these are the pair that have the hot dogs. And I thought these were so cute. And then I also got him the pair that have the tacos. Greg loves tacos. Loves them. So I thought these were very appropriate. Another little add-on gift for Greg's sister is these were out last year. And they're the My Beauty Spot. And this is the four-sided ultimate foot care petty tool. And you can see here, it has your scrub brush, it has your pumice, your pumice stone, it has like the, um, like the sandpapery file grinder, you know, filing pad. And then it has like your grate, your grater here. I don't know, it's because called a grater. Nail brush, pumice stone, metal nail file, and then smooth nail file. So that's, that's what that is. And they had it in this color and they also have it in like, I think a purple. So I went ahead and grabbed this. If you haven't caught on yet. Greg's sister's gift theme is kind of like a pamper yourself kind of theme. Um, I got her a, um, I got her an essential oil diffuser. Um, that's, she really wanted one, her husband told us. And so I made sure that we got her that. Um, that's like her main gift with a, with an essential oils, um, subscription. So she'll get different essential oils every month. So that's what we got her for her main gift. And then these are like little add on extras. Speaking of add on extra, I also got her a loofah to go with like the other stuff and so here's that and one of these is for Greg's sister and one of these is for my sister like I said as little add-on gifts um, I don't know who's gonna get what but you guys have already seen these I'm sure these are the yes to um, brightening it's the sleeping mask and it says vitamin C it says vitamin C boosting and basically um, it says it's to help brighten skin and refine pores so you basically put it on your face when you go to bed and your skin like sucks it in and then the other one is the um, new Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating Moisturizing Sleeping Mask. And this says it's for dry skin as well. Okay, so I was so excited when I saw these on Instagram and I could not wait to find it. Um, I posted pictures of these. So they have different, they come in black and white and different designs. So this is the mirror and I'm going to try not to like, I'm going to try not to like blind you guys. But this is the mirror and this is so cute. I absolutely love this design. 
and I'm actually gonna end up painting mine. But I also love that it's got like the frame kickstand in the back. I love that. And you can do so many different things with these. Uh, it's, it's just as ornate framed mirror, tabletop or wall mount, and it's the size is four and a half inch by seven in, by six and a half inch. So excited to find them. I wish I would have gotten more. I may go back and get others because my store did have quite a few of them. I, if you guys know me, I have not, I used to buy the sassy and chic nails all the time. I don't wear them as often as, <laughs> as I want to. I forget to put them on, but I have not bought them in a while because I haven't seen any new ones, but I've seen, I just saw these and I don't know if they're new or not, but I've never seen them before. And there was only this one pack and these are the a sassy and chic fashion nails. And it's like this bluey, bluish, silvery purple color and then the tip of them have like iridescent glitter design i don't know but i absolutely think they're gorgeous so grabbed them grab these for stocking stuffers for my nieces and guys can we i feel like this is a good deal this is a two pack of play-doh you get two packs of it this one has red and yellow and this one here has purple and green and so i got each of them a pack and they'll go in their stockings and i thought for a dollar each not a bad deal to go into Greg's sister's little care package gift this is the ready to use pump aroma guru in lavender and she likes lavender as her mother did as well and so I went ahead and grabbed her this and then for my sister for her stocking um, I hadn't seen these at my Dollar Tree before and they are by wet and wild and this is the color icon eyeshadow palette it's in the C392A and it's in tunnel vision and it's so, so pretty. And it shows you here, you've got the colors of grays, blacks, and white. You can see on there, it tells you which is the base, the brow bone, the eyelid, the crease, and the definer. So it tells you which color to use for what. So again, that's in tunnel vision, the blacks, grays, and whites. And then I got her the one in silent treatment, which is kind of like some brownish, pinkish. So I really like those colors. So hope you can see it because the glare is gnarly. Okay, I thought I was done, but I realized I had two other bags. So I'm gonna, I just grabbed them. I'm gonna go ahead and go through those. Okay, so my store happened to have two boxes of these left and these were really, really good. I love them. So I went ahead and grabbed two more boxes and these are the Nature Valley Almond Butter uh, Layered Granola Nut Bars. These were so good. I actually preferred the almond butter over the peanut butter so they had two boxes left and i did take both of them i love to have these as the snack in between my breakfast and lunch or my after lunch snack like before i get home so i i sometimes my sugar will drop kind of low and so these are excellent to have and they're not high in weight watcher points for crafting i picked up this pack of christmas house doilies i thought the poinsettia was the poinsettia design was very pretty you do get 20 of them these are the smaller ones they also had larger ones i think you got 10 in there but i thought these would look really really pretty on some crafting ideas i needed to organize some receipts and so i did get this jot file folder it's just a simple file folder this was up by the register i don't know if i've ever seen anyone haul it or even how well it's going to work but it says it's an led tea light candle um and it's a christmas one and it here it is here it's the christmas tree and apparently it lights up different colors so my dollar tree had three different flavors of this and this is the new duncan hines perfect size for one chocolate drizzle and um you guys know the little mug cakes they have this is perfect to put on top of it it says there are four servings in each pouch it has the cute little twist off so you can put it back on but my store had the chocolate the caramel and the apple cinnamon um i actually already have some caramel stuff here I'm not a huge fan of apple cinnamon, so I felt like chocolate was the way to go. So again, I did pick this up and it is 4.6 ounces. I'm not sure how much these are in stores, but I do feel like it's probably more than a dollar. I just happened to have been complaining to Greg about dog hair right before we walked in the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed a little lint roller just to keep in my car so I can get you know, quick dog hair off of okay, me. Okay, I found some new stickers. Um, these are the planner stickers. There's 175 of them, and they were in a little book like this, and these were actually up at the register, and you can see on the back the different ones that you get, and I'll just do a quick little flippy through to show you. Obviously, this is the first page, and it's these here, very cute, very in right now. These are little, like, to-do and little stickers like that, flag stickers. Also, keep in mind, they had other items. They had an actual planner and other planner-related things. I use a different planner, so I just wanted the stickers, but they have the checklist. It says important, don't forget, meeting. And this one here says, like, birthday, vacation, and it's foiled, so pardon me, it's a little heart and star icons. 
He also other little icon stickers, little dollar signs, checks, exclamation marks, heart stars. And the last one, it says things like today, to buy, errands, to do, things like that. Not bad, 175 stickers for a dollar. The other stickers I found are the Jot brand, and I thought these were so pretty. You get eight of them, and it does say they are glitter stickers. And I just thought these were so pretty, and I had to have them. And look at that. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, we're doing a little secret elf thing at my at my job for um like christmas instead of secret santa everybody's hanging up a stocking and then you just kind of go around throughout the month of december and add little goodies to people's stockings and so i did grab a few of these um the these are hand sanitizers i got this one here it says marshmallow scented and it's got the cute little cloud on it i got two of these and they're the sweet pea scented and it says be happy and then the fourth one I got says it's cotton candy scented and it's got the super cute rainbow. So these are, these are cute. Um, I've smelled them. They smell nice. They don't smell bad. So for a dollar, good, cute little stocking stuffers. Okay guys, last bag. When I walked into my store, these were right in the front in the big display thing. And I thought they were so cute. And this is a pillow and you can, it's soft and they're not huge. Not at all, but I thought this would be really, really great for Billy in his crate. He has a dog bed. Billy loves to lay his head on pillows. So I actually got this for him. He won't destroy it like Axel would. And Billy can rest his little head on the pillow because he loves laying his head on pillows. And now he'll have his own. Had to get these boxes because they're so adorable. Um, and you can see here they are, you get two gift boxes and they are the Christmas house brand. You can kind of see how they look with the buffalo check. Very, very cute. And I got these to put a couple little gifts in. I cannot wait to try this. I love the, the cookie butter that they sell at Trader Joe's. And so when I saw this cookie butter here, I had to give it a shot. It is a little seven ounce glass jar, so it is glass. Um, the expiration does say 7-7 seven, seven of 2020. Plenty of shelf life. Cannot wait to try it. I couldn't remember if I had glue runners and I am working on pocket letters, so I picked up this little glue tape. There's the Jot brand. You do not get very much on them, but they do roll pretty well from my experience with them. So I grabbed them just in case I didn't have any or I did not have a lot. The last two items, um, this is the Liquimark hand lettering. Um, you get two hand lettering pens. They have two different tips. One has a fine tip and one has a chisel tip. And I only saw the color black at my store. So if you had, if there are other colors, comment down below and let me know. But in the hand lettering pens, not the glass ones, but the, the hand lettering, my store only had black. And last but not least, I picked up a Christmas card and this is for Greg's sister and her husband. And this is what the front of it looks like. And I thought it was just so freaking cute. And if you just can't, it says holiday fun, peace, very merry, love, happy and cozy. I love that one with the little dog. It has love um, together with the, um, like the station wagon. So it's cute. And this is from the Heartline, the Hallmark Company. And I believe this one was a dollar, not the two. For, I can't remember if this was the two for a dollar or just the dollar one. Um, but when you open it up, it says wishing you a Christmas season that's peaceful joyful and oh so very merry and i thought it's so cute love the card it had a red envelope which brings me to my next um which brings me to my next item that i'd like to say before i end this video is i do want to do a christmas card exchange i did it last year if you remember so if you want to do the christmas card exchange which just means you send me a christmas card i send you one back um i know maybe it's kind of late into the month i'm not sure but you can send me a christmas card my um, address is in down below in the description box. What I do ask that you do is that you do send me an email. I, there are some people who don't like to receive them back. I ran into that a few times last year. So just do me this favor. If you want to exchange Christmas cards, you send me one, I send you one. Send me an email to my email address down below in the description box and just let me know, hey Lala, I want to exchange Christmas cards with you and yes, you can send me one back and go ahead and give me your address. That way I don't have to wait for your card to send you one. I can go ahead and get it all ready, you know, addressed and all of that. So go ahead and definitely do that if you are only if you are interested do not feel obligated i just know a lot of you do like to mail out christmas cards so without 
Now that I've taken up so much of your time, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate all of your support. You guys know that. If you still stuck around this long and you're not subscribed, you may as well go ahead and do that down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment down below. I love talking with you guys. Again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.